This is supposed to be a relaxing day. Tell me why I'm on edge. I'm on edge. Good morning. It is 9.16 a.m. I'm literally in my sleeping in era at the moment. I need to get my sleeping schedule back on track. Also, I slept with an Olaplex mask in my hair last night. That's why my hair is curly and crazy right now. But let's get up. I am determined to go to the gym. I want to get up, put on my gym clothes and go. No breakfast, no green tea, nothing. Straight to the gym. So let's get it. Yeah. Mm. So obviously I set the camera up to go walk out, walk in, be like, oh my god, I'm back. Can you imagine if I locked myself out and my camera was just here on filming? <laughs> Can you imagine? Anyway, just got back from the gym. I had such a good workout. I actually... Hello. I came back from the gym and Cal is cooking breakfast. He's literally the best. But I had such a good workout. There's something about doing fasted cardio, like doing cardio right when I wake up before having breakfast that I love so much. I swear I'm better. That doesn't even make sense because I should be worse because like I'm hungry. Anyway, I'm gonna have some breakfast. Cal is making poached eggs with hash browns. Literally my favorite breakfast ever. And then I need to have a shower and wash my hair because I slept in the Olaplex mask. So my hair right now is just like, literally what the f is this? This looks so good. I'm so ready for this. What was that? shower ever. I had the temperature on like 10,000 million degrees, the hottest setting it could go. I washed my hair. Now I have my little eye patches on. I have my eyes roller. I'm in my cozy gray set. This is honestly such a vibe. This is my definition of self-care. This is honestly my favorite self-care moment so far. So I feel like now is a perfect time to talk about the sponsor of today's video, which is BetterHelp. So basically BetterHelp is an online therapy platform and I honestly love them so so much. If you've been around for a hot minute, you'll know that I have worked with them before. So I personally struggle with depression and anxiety and for so long, I felt like I had no idea where to start with my therapy journey. No idea what therapist to talk to. If I'm being honest, the whole process was ironically giving me more anxiety. So I found BetterHelp so helpful because they make the process so easy. Let me give you a little like rundown of how it works. So once you sign up, you fill out a questionnaire to help assess your specific needs and from there you're matched with a therapist. Then you can schedule phone and video sessions and exchange unlimited messages with them. Now when I started, I was so worried that I wasn't going to be able to find the right therapist on BetterHelp, which is so funny looking back because they have a network of over 20,000 different therapists all specialized in different areas. So safe to say I was fine. I found somebody and what I love about them as well is that if you get matched with someone and you don't feel like that therapist is your vibe, you don't feel like they're right for you, you can request a new one at any time with no additional costs. When I found that out, I was like, oh my gosh, this alleviates so much anxiety for me. But honestly, the thing that I found most helpful with BetterHelp is that you can talk to a therapist at any time. You could literally be anywhere in the world and have access to therapy. And as someone who loves to travel, move around, and if we're being real real, is just introverted and loves staying at home, this is perfect. I just truly love this platform so much and I know that you guys will too. So if you're struggling to start your therapy journey or 
you're with a therapist and it's not the right fit and you're thinking about giving BetterHelp a go, I got you. Don't worry. You can use my link. I'll put it up on the screen. You can use this to get 10% off your first month. It's literally so easy. All you have to do is go to BetterHelp slash Beth. That's B-E-T-T-E-R-H-E-L-P slash Beth. And you can get 10% off your first month. And don't worry. I'll put that link in the description so it's so easy for you to find. Okay, I've definitely been ice rolling my face for long enough now. My face is feeling literally frozen. So I'm going to go dry my hair, get ready because I really want to go out and get Starbucks. I just feel like it's a self-care moment. I deserve it. Have I already gotten a Starbucks this week? Yes. But in the name of self-care, I feel like I deserve another one. Also, I just remembered I have a free drink. So it's meant to be. is it doesn't matter what temperature it is outside it could be negative 30 i still want an iced drink so i got the iced green tea matcha latte with almond milk dude i found out last weekend that this has so much sugar in it it's insane like the way they make it the standard edition comes with 50 something grams of sugar and like 100 and something mg or whatever it is of caffeine i'm like what the so I asked them if they could make it less sweet. The lady told me it has three pumps of sugar syrup. I was like, all right, okay, I think we can cut back on that. So this one has one pump of sugar syrup. Time for a taste test. I am terrified of spilling this on my new scarf. I will give you a little chopping hole in a second. I'm also kind of nervous that it's not the right drink because I was waiting in Starbucks for 20 minutes and my drink just wasn't coming. Cal got his. And so he went and asked for me and they were like, oh, we've already made that. We think someone else just took it. So they remade it, but there's no stick. And she was like, what's your order again? And I told her. She was like, okay. And then when it made it, but you know, like, is it right? I don't know. Anyway, cheers to the freaking weekend. All right, taste test. This is good. It's still really sweet. It actually low-key tastes the same as every other time I've gotten it. Maybe this just has the normal syrup amount. Maybe when I said one pump of sugar syrup, she thought I meant one extra. She was like, let's load this bitch up. Just like pump, 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 pass out from too much sugar. Anyway, I'm very excited to have this in my life and it was my free drink. Cheers to that. Bitches, I don't know what the f that was. So embarrassing. But I also went shopping. I made this list the other day. Let me just bring it up. Where the f is the list? Where the f is the list? I found the list. I made a list of all the essential wardrobe items that I need to buy. Things that I either had and they're falling apart and need to be replaced or things that I just put off buying and then wonder why I don't have it. Like life would be so much better if I just invested and got it. So we walked past Cotton On today and they were having 30% off their fleece set. This gray one that I have, I got from Cotton On the other week when it was 30% off as well. So I got another matching set in this, I don't even know what color this is, brownie, purple burning purple i don't know i think it's sick so i finally have another matching set in my life because the thing is when i work from home which is a lot of the time i just want to be in matching sets what have i not had in my life matching sets so i'm very happy to have these two in my life i kind of want to get a cream colored one but i know that i'll just spill everything ever on it so i think the gray is enough this color is cute stay tuned maybe i'll get the cream i don't know but i also got the gray shorts that match this sweat set and then i got this cream scarf i'm obsessed with these I want to call them crunchy, chunky scarves at the moment. I got one in black recently. I've literally worn it every day since, even just like around the house. So I figured a cream kind of colored one would be perfect. So now I have a dark one and a light one. It's a big slice. So I'm going to tick these things off my list. I highly recommend making one of these lists because then it stops you from making non-essential purchases. I mean like a sweat set isn't essential. It kind of is. I'm sure you know what I mean. Like I so easily could have just gone into Cotton On and bought so many things, but I was 
was strategic because I knew what I needed. Anyway, yesterday, Cal and I got all the stuff to make cupcakes. And by all the stuff, I mean literally just this packet mix. Well, I mean, you also need butter and eggs and all that jazz, so we have that as well. So I thought we could make these together. I think it'll be such a cute, fun little self-care activity. And also, we ran out of chocolate last night, so perfect because I have been addicted to having a sweet treat every single day. I blame the matcha lattes because ever since I gave up coffee, this has become my like new addiction. I get it at least twice a week. I don't know who's to blame. Probably just myself, really, but let's stick with outside sources. So let's go ahead and make these cupcakes. I'm actually gonna change out of these light colored clothes because I don't wanna spill anything on myself. But then let's do it. We are definitely listening to Sabrina Carpenter while we do this. I can't stop. I can't stop. Her album is so good. oven but guess what happened to me guess what happened to me i try and take a self-care day a chill self-care day do things for myself it's all about me myself and i and what happens i break my vlog camera i literally broke you i don't even know how i'm just mixing up the cupcake batter all of a sudden i hear I'm like, oh no, oh no. Because if you know, you know that I've been having like real bad luck this week, really bad luck. I look over, my vlog camera is on the ground. It's still attached to my tripod, but it's on the ground. I wasn't recording. I really wish I was so that I could like look at this footage. It's not broken, broken per se, because like obviously I'm talking to you right now, but the flip viewfinder screen thing doesn't fold back down, which is very, very, very inconvenient. It folds up, like it's permanently up, so I can permanently see you. Maybe I just need to vlog 20 Four seven now. Oh, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Everything is fine. I think. Anyway, cupcakes are in the oven. Cal is downstairs cleaning the car. I'm so grateful for him because tonight, I don't think I told you yet, but we're going to a paint and sip. Basically, it's where you paint and drink wine, but I volunteered to drive everyone because I'm not drinking at the moment. So I have to drive four people to this place and our car, dude, it is so gross, like so disgusting. We like never really drive anywhere because we live in the city and there's just so much dust and crust. It's not dirty like rubbish packets in the back, like sauce smeared on the wall, not like that. It's more just like dust accumulating over time. So Cal's down there with the Dyson, giving it a little spritz. Cause I was like, I cannot pick up four of my friends. They're my work friends as well from my part-time job and be like, get in bitches, get into the little trash can car for this 40 minute drive. Absolutely not, that's so embarrassing. So, Cal's cleaning the car, cupcakes are in the oven. I am going to finish my Starbucks because it's literally 20 past three. Luckily, I'm going to be driving at basically like midnight tonight back from the place, so I could use the caffeine, but damn, I hope I can still sleep. Anyway. What the f is happening? This is supposed to be a relaxing day. Tell me why I'm on edge. I'm on edge. Anyway, cupcakes will cook. They need to cool down, all that stuff. I'm gonna go read my book. I'm just gonna go read my book. It's gonna be a vibe. a little bit of makeup for tonight. I have an hour till I need to leave. So, plenty of time. I'm gonna try and do my makeup as fast as I can. And then I actually really wanna keep my hair in a ponytail. I'm just gonna like fix it up. Of course, the day I wash my hair is the day I wanna wear it in a slicked back ponytail. Like it was so greasy last night. I should have just left it, but it's fine. 
oh, you know what I should do? I should film a get ready with me TikTok. Cause that's the perfect thing to do when you're running out of time. Just add something else to your list. Anyway, let's get it, let's get it. It took me years to get to that mindset. Like I'm 27, but I'm so glad that I'm here. It's kind of funny. Well, actually it's not funny at all, to be honest, but growing up, The whole entire sky is cloudy right now, except for this one bit where the sun is, and the sun is like beaming through, making the light all shonky. I also just looked into the sun and now I can't even see myself in the viewfinder. I'm like blinded by the light. So hopefully my makeup comes out okay because I low key cannot see what I'm doing. Literally what the f I do. Did my light just die? This is so on brand right now. Everything has been going wrong for me this week. Oh my God, I forgot highlighter and my brow gel again. I did this the other night when I was getting ready for the old J concert. How does that happen twice? Also, I can't believe this light died on me. Like, hello? I guess I should put it on charge. Okay, it is 4.33. I need to leave in 25 minutes. Kyle made me some, I guess you would call it delayed lunch. Like we haven't had lunch yet. So I'm gonna eat this. Need to finish up my hair, get dressed, all that fun stuff. I have run out of time to decorate the cupcakes, but Cal has stepped in and said he's going to decorate them with you. So, woo, Cal's kitchen, coming at you hot. Why is this battery about to die? Lol, okay, one sec, he. All right guys, let's ice these cuppies. I don't know why I said that. 125 grams melted butter and one tablespoon of milk. 125 grams of butter. It's kind of already softened, but we'll give it another 30. I'm gonna use almond milk. Butter is melted. One tablespoon of milk. Beat the butter in the bowl with an electric mixer. I'm gonna use my hands. Oh God. Sugar on the bench. I hope this is sugar. Girls kitchen, girls speaking. Always clean as you go, guys. Keep a tidy workspace. All right, let's get some food coloring in. I'm talking to anyone who's listening at this point. Probably no one. Oh, what do the kids do with the hand behind? That doesn't actually do anything. Oh no, look at that. Looks gross at the moment, to be honest. Oh, f I've somehow gotten drips all over the bench. Nothing a good old antibacterial wipe won't fix. All right, kids? Oh, it's on me hands. I can't believe this has happened. I can't believe I've done this. Gee whiz. I think I was just a bit too vigorous with my beating of the batter. Also, if all you bakers out there, ignore my techniques, because I don't have any. Well, I mean, if it turns out well, it's a tutorial, isn't it? But it's all part of the experience. I don't even know what I'm I'm saying at this point. Here we go, though. Cal's Kitchen Conundrums, featuring Cal and his conundrums. I don't think the word conundrum has been said since like the 1800s, but here's what, oh. Get some light in there, boys. There we go. It looks so red on the screen, but it's pink. Trust me, it's pink. What's the best instrument? A knife? Let's get you guys in frame. <sighs> Betty Crocker, eat your heart out. Oh, you're not meant to like pipe this on, are you? Nah, no, it's too late, I've already started. These are looking bloody exquisite. Oh no. Crisis averted. They're looking pretty good. Don't mind the camera strap hanging in frame. This is not my day job, but I'm gonna chuck on top some hundreds and thousands. Can you do this thing? Yeah, there you go. Just a little finishing touch. A little bit of crunch. You know how it is. Oh, this is very cute. Look at this. Little chef treat. Bit of icing on the back of the hand. And that was the icing on the cake, if you know what I mean. Look at that, guys. Getting what the kids call B-roll with the cake, cupcakes. Killed it, crushed it, good. Thanks for watching. Okay, I just got in the car, I'm about to go. I didn't get to show you my outfit, but I showed it to you on TikTok, so you should definitely go watch that TikTok. I am just running, not late, but like right on time. Like it's quarter past five, and I need to pick everybody up from my part-time job. Like that's where they all are right now. I am just so nervous. Okay, I don't know if I've told you this, I'm sure I have. Also, where the f are the keys? Why are they on the passenger seat? Ah, dude, what the f is happening? Am I gonna like break my camera again? Also, slay the Alex Earl light, just really pulling through right now. It will die at any moment because it low-key is still dead. But I am such a nervous driver. I never used to be. But Kel's car is manual and I get so nervous with hill starts. Like so f nervous. And I know there's three that could potentially happen on the way to my part-time job. <sighs> Hopefully we don't have to do them because they're at traffic lights, but it's fine. I'm a confident bad ass bitch. I can do this. I can do this. I can do this. I can do this. It's already done. It's already done. We're already there. It's safe. We're fine. <laughs> Okay, I need to just go. I need to just turn the car on and go. <laughs> Wish me luck. <laughs> it's quite a <laughs> Cheers. Okay. 
look at Coco's hands. <laughs> Guys, we are painting Mount Fuji. This is what our paintings are meant to be looking like. So far, we have done the background. Now, you have to like flick the paintbrush with white paint on it to make the stars in the sky. I already have paint on my hand. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's going good. Yes. Okay, the background is done. The stars actually look so cute. Yay! <laughs> Amazing, but it's definitely the best thing I've ever painted. This is Coco's. Wow, everyone's is so good. We think ours might be the worst. 